Hello, so maybe you have seen my other video about these uh, adjustable tongue and groove router bits and uh, that was just an unboxing video. So but today I want to talk a little bit more about this and show you how these work and how you adjust those properly. So what makes these router bits adjustable are these spacers and we have a whole variety of different spacers that you can use. So we have four one millimeter spacers then we have one half millimeter, two point two millimeters and two point one five millimeters and two point one millimeter. So and the way that you use these spacers is by removing the top cutter and then by adding these spacers on top here here for example I'm taking the one millimeter spacer and then putting the cutter back on top of this so and this is how you achieve the different groove groove width so let us start out with just using no spacers and, and here in case of the tongue bit I just have the ball bearing here in the middle and here on the groove bit as you can see here I don't have anything in between the uh, upper and the lower cutter so in this in this case we would cut a 5.5 millimeter tongue and groove so and the maximum width that we that we can cut is 9.5 millimeter and in order to achieve that we would take four the four four millimeters that would mean this is the base this is 5.5 millimeters plus four one millimeter spacers that will end up at 9.5 millimeter so this was look like that would look like this. And here for the groove bit, we would do the same. We would take the same amount of spacers and exactly the same spacers and put them between oh, in between the lower and the upper cutter. And then here we, we add the ball bearing here on top. And this way we would have now a 9.5 millimeter tongue and groove. So now I have here these four one millimeter spaces in between and this is the maximum width that we can go but you, as you can see we still have a whole bunch of other spaces here that we can still put in the middle so why would we not be able to put these in the middle here also and the answer to that is you have to look at the cutters here and you can see here these are pretty damn close together already and if we if we add more spaces in the middle let me just let me simulate that by adding like a couple more one millimeter spaces here so now what would happen now is you can see for the groove cut and you would see there's a big gap between the two cutters here and that would mean once you router this you're going to have like a really small lip of the wood that would still stick out and would, would not be cut away so that is why you cannot go over 9.5 millimeters here so if we go back to the 9.5 millimeter distance and you see this is really really close the cutters are really close to each other and uh, this will be the maximum width. So then also, if you take a look at the two cutting heads here, you see, let's have a look at this, this one here. You see they are a little bit different here. The right one on the, the outer side, you can see that the cutter is not as wide as the inner one. Here on the left side, this is wider. And so you wanna make sure that the longer parts of the cutter are always facing into the center of the router bit. 
like this. So when you assemble it, make sure you don't assemble them like this. See, otherwise you're going to run into problems here that you have a big gap in the middle when you're routering. So you don't want this to happen. So always make sure to assemble it like this. So let's finish to assemble this 9.5 millimeter example now. So what I do next is I take the ball bearing and put that on top of here. And then I have to take all the leftover spacers and put these on top. And the reason for that is here the thread for the nut that I have to use doesn't go down all the way. So here I want to add some of the at least some of these spacers and I'm I'm usually making it a habit to just add all of the spacers that I have so I'm not going to lose them. So I put all my spacers on here and then I put this washer on top and then I tighten it with the nut. So now I have this side ready with the uh, four one millimeter spacers and now I just have to do exactly the same spacers, the same amount and the same width of spacers. So in here also here you can see there's a bit, a big gap here that I have to fill before I put the uh, washer and the nut on top. So I'm putting all the leftover spacers that I have and put them on here. And I put the washer on top and the nut, I tighten it down with the nut. And now I can router with this for 9.5 millimeter tongue and groove.